Needles offers an integration with QuickBooks, allowing specific users to export checks from Needles to QuickBooks, creating providers as vendors and Needles parties as customers. In addition, it'll create the Needles keys number as a job. When users are adding items to the value tab in Needles, they are able to request a check as long as there is an amount due and there is not an open request. I'm going to request a few checks here. And you'll notice that it tells me how many items I'm requesting and the amount of those items. So I could either stop or I can continue and process this check request. I will receive a summary of check requests, which I can either save, print, and close or just close. What your staff will see is there is an open request, which means they cannot request another check. And it also means that they can see that the check has not been printed in QuickBooks. When the person exporting checks is ready, they will go to Keys, Check Processing, Export Checks, or Control E if they like keyboard shortcuts. Here they will see all checks that are pending, regardless of who requested the check, regardless of key, or who the payee is. The debit account and credit account will read directly from the QuickBooks chart of accounts. So if you're using sub accounts, you can choose one here. And then the credit account will tell you which bank accounts you can export to write your checks out of. Here I'm gonna select all three items select my general checking, and choose write one check for payee, which will give me one check for Mr. Dixon and one check for Health Board. Once I'm ready, I'm able to export directly to QuickBooks. Again, I am told how many items I'm exporting and the total amount, and yes, I do want to export. Again, you get a report. This one is a summary of exported checks showing you the bank account. And you can either print and close or just close. At this time, I can jump right over to QuickBooks and go to File, Print Forms, Checks, and print my checks. Enter my check number, select OK, print. And OK, once I've confirmed my checks printed correctly, and I'm all done with exporting checks. I can see here that Mr. Banner was created and his needles keys number as a job. We can also see if we jump over to, over to vendors that Mr. Dixon has been created. And here is his check paying our two items from needles. Those items are itemized on the check voucher. And this could be used for either several invoices for one client, or maybe it's just several invoices for multiple clients. When I jump back over to Needles, I can take a look at my keys and see that not only are my case expenses paid, but corresponding due to firms has been created. I can look at my subtotals and I should have a constant running total between my keys expenses and my due to firm. Anything we've advanced, we do want to be reimbursed. I can also see once I've added attorney fee settlement, medical bills, et cetera, that my client is currently getting $17,737 in this settlement. So once I'm ready, I can request my settlement check and I can also request my client check. You have the ability with the QuickBooks integration to request deposits. Enter your check number and process the deposit request. Again, you will get a summary of deposit requests, which can be printed and closed or just closed. Your staff will see that the item has an open request, so they know not to ask if it has been exported to QuickBooks yet. Once you're ready, you'll go to Keys, Check Processing, Export Deposit, select your credit account, 
and this one is client trust liability for my account and my client trust account bank account to deposit the check into. Select export. Yeah. Also get a summary of exported deposits, which you can print and close or just close. When you're ready to export the rest of your checks, you can open one item, request checked, go to value items and select all. This tells me how many items I'm requesting and the total amount, and I can process this request. When I'm ready to export my dispersal, I'll be able to go to Keys, Check Processing, Export Checks, and my checks will be here and ready to go. Another feature of the QuickBooks integration is you can allow name and address changes between the programs. That allows any user that is using the QuickBooks Needles integration to make a change to the name or address within Needles, and it will update QuickBooks or vice versa. You can open an item, change the address, save that, and when they jump back over to QuickBooks, they are going to see that the address has been updated. For additional information on the QuickBooks integration, you can go to our manual in Needles under Help, Needles Help, and you can do Section 2, Chapter 14, Accounting System Interface, and you can view Section 3, Chapter 21, QuickBooks SDK Interface. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions, you can reach out to our support team or visit our website at needles.com.